Welcome, Indeed View by DJ SPRC. Today we have the TRX4 Bronco, uh, and we're going to do the light kit on it. That would be 8035 from Traxxas. In the kit itself, you have the front lights with the side markers, the rear lights meaning your side markers on the side and your brake lights. You have the distribution block, distribution block holder, your power supply. Uh, basically this guy's to route power and you will have a small jumper. The jumper basically uh, goes in here to jump one of the wires together in the distribution block. I'm just gonna install it right now. That way I don't forget it and I don't lose it. And they do give you some tie wraps, little zip ties and some screws to be able to bolt this on the side of the truck. Let's jump in and let's do this. Put this aside, this aside, this we will need, and these guys here. Now, on the physical body itself, in your front end of your that holds your grill, you will need to remove these uh, basically, they are small holders, they're able to zip tie the wires at the same time, but these here that's what holds your front grill. I literally started to remove the other ones. I only left one. Remove it. I'm keeping my screw inside. That way I don't lose it. And you will see when you push on the crown parts that your grill comes off. Now this is the piece we need right now to be able to transfer these guys here to here. We'll flip it. We'll need a 1.5. Idea guys for two mil. We're gonna remove the old holders. Keep these screws because you will need to reuse them. Now I'm just using a, a rag just to prevent scratching it. Now these here physically, you don't need to, to reuse them, but keep them if ever one day you decide to remove your lights. You will need to put those back. Now, if you're not sure where they go, you can basically look at the other model and you'll see the way the wedges are. Uh, this guy here is the left. These are awesome. Yep. I guess I forgot where my left is. I'm having a little bit of wiring issues right now. There we go. And do I need to reuse the holder? I think I do. Yep. On the old lights, You'll see where the stickers are. You'll need to remove this part because at this time, this part will hold your front grill back. Put our screw back in. And don't over tighten it to break anything. Now I'm just gonna 
and these guys on that side. Now, when you take your physical LED, when you insert them, you're gonna go wrap it inside the bumper itself to be able to insert it. But if you try to go straight, it won't go in. Bend that, that side a little bit. Take your black piece out. And when you're doing that, be careful as the wire comes on the side, not to pinch anything. And we'll screw this one back in. And once you did that, did, did that, ooh, did that, you have your two LEDs here and your markers in front here. Now we're going to grab our bump, our bumper, our front, and you'll see there's holes here to insert your wires. Some of these guys will be a little bit harder to do. There's a lot more wires on one side than the other. You will need to force one of the plugs and when you are pushing these in, be careful, they are small wires and if you basically pull too much, you're going to break one or two or all of them. And don't do like me. Don't put it upside down. Yeah. I goof on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. LED, grab our longest one, there we go. Now I'm going to gently pull on these wires to make sure they all go in. Now we will be able to put our holder back. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to keep the clips facing towards the, uh, the hood of the vehicle.
And these are a little bit finicky in a sense to hold because, yeah. I'm just going to put two for the moment. Now you'll notice this is a bit longer, goes to the rear, to the rear of the vehicle and the two whites will go together. Just make sure to follow the orientation. These are will be zip tie to the holder itself and the side marker you'll notice just there's a place that will go on the side here and just go in the hole and clip. They do need a little bit of pressure to go in. That's why I'm putting my finger here and be able to push and they go. I don't know if you can see it. But what I'm going to do here is put all my all my screws back in, and I'll come back. Okay. What I ended up doing is putting these screws back in, and I zip tied all the wires uh, to the physical holders. Now at this one here, what I'm going to end up doing is put a little bit of a tape because I just don't want it to be flopping. And the other thing I went and did and installed the distribution block holder that's for this guy here and I went and plugged these guys in it's a lot easier to do it than after that's installed on the body and the other thing I did <laughs> I removed the rear slash tailgate where the LED goes it's the same mount as the front to be able to install the rear tail lights. Now you'll notice there's two different links, same thing as uh, in the front. Uh, just make sure to place them in the correct place when they're on the body because you need your wire on this side here. Now, as I tried to do it on the body itself, they were popping off, I couldn't. It was easier to do it this way. Now what I'm gonna end up doing I'm gonna keep the wires in the back of here instead of having the on inside. I just gonna make sure to bend the wire here. Same thing. And insert them right here. And grabbing one of our holders putting at the correct place. Now doing it that way, it won't damage anything. And you'll have another wire going there anyway for your tail lights. Again, the bottom ones, I'm pointing direction of the roof of the vehicle. And the bottom one I'm putting kind of a 45. If you don't put them correctly, don't worry. You can loosen the screw and point them the direction you want. Now we're gonna grab our tail lights. Again, longer one goes on that side. Gently pull on them to see if it's, it is inserted correctly. Grab our shorter one. Now, there is holders on the side of the body. It's the same thing. You just need to route your wires. 
to the distribution block. And there is a place to plug them right here. One says blue. There you go. And the other one would say red. Those they are for the brake lights. Come on. Let me make sure they're all the way in. And then you'll be able to screw, screw in your distribution block right here. And for the moment, the body will be done. I'll do this a little bit later. Put that, that guy aside. What we're going to do now is grab our power supply. And let's put in the vehicle. You grab your vehicle. Move your power wire aside. And there is one place this guy goes. It's just beside your shifting servo. And Traxxas does supply in the kit. Longer screws. No, yeah, supplies use the screw, should I say? Now, the only thing I do not like, I think it might go opposite way. Yeah, we'll put it this way. Because I think, yeah, because the screws are a little bit more recessed because of the chassis brace right here. On the other side, it kind of rubs. Now there is a wire you'll need to route underneath the battery tray. Because you need to plug it in your receiver. That's solid right there. Let's remove the, the tie. This is the wire basically you'll need to bring to your receiver. This guy here, I'm gonna route it to the side. On your side of your speed control, there is a GST plug. And there's only one way you can plug that guy in. There we go. I'm just going to put a zip tie here to hold everything in. Now we need to route that wire to the receiver. Traxxas has a passage right here that goes underneath the battery tray. You can bring it right here. What you could do, there's two screws right here. And you do have another one in the back here be able to lift the tray remove the front one move the other one you could try to wiggle it through it what I'm gonna do is basically Take these two screws, I can physically move this upwards. A lot easier to run my wire like this. I'm gonna follow this guy here. And you will see where 
other wires are running underneath just follow that one And just make sure when you're going to put this guy back in that you're not on top of your wire. And just screw these guys back in. And the reason this wire is for basically if the remote's off, the receiver won't, won't keep the lights on. Now we can close this guy back up. Let's open a receiver. Now we got three more because <clears throat> this is just one part of the receiver box. I tried to keep the wire, but the wires, but the screws with the box itself. And I just lift it and keep the screw and watch yourself when you're going to do that there is a blue gasket i'm not sure if you can see it not to damage that guy it that's what creates your seal here okay now we're just going to route it and try to bring inside here. There's a lot of wires. And some of these wires you don't want to unplug because if you don't remember where they go, it might create you issues. But if you slowly Do it and slowly push on it. You'll be able to route it inside like I just did. Now I'm just going to put the wires slowly kind of back in. Keep this guy right here. And now we just need to see where it's going to plug in your receiver. And basically, it's going to go in the spare port of the uh, steering servo. Because the Traxxas receivers have two ports for the steering servo. And they're just using the power out of it. And that's the only place there is available power. Because this box is pretty much full. Plug that in. And make sure not to kink your antenna. Bring your box back here making sure not to damage that uh, blue seal Now, in here, there is grooves 
that kind of does a separation for the wire. And you want to make sure not to put one of these wires on top of it. Now, for some reason, there we go. We'll move you out of the way after. Screw this guy back in. Make sure I'm not on top of my wire. There we go. You don't want it super tight. You want it snug. And then we can pull back on our wire here to be able to zip it, zip tie it all together, make it look like nice. Now, basically you have multiple port output. You can add wheel wells lights to make your, your wheel wells. But now when you grab, once this is bolted back to your body here, Your distribution block has a physical wire. Plug it in, doesn't matter which port you, you use. Pop in your battery and your lights are on. If you guys have any questions or comment, post down below, I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.